you today. Today I'm really pleased to announce three brand new Christmas stamp sets from Paper Artsy. They're launching this week. You've probably seen some mention of them popping up on Wednesday when they launched and then also yesterday. So over on the Paper Artsy blog, we have two blog posts, one done by me and one done by the very talented Nikki Acton. And uh, we've got some project ideas. We'll talk about the stamps and what we like about them and how we're using them. And so I'm gonna provide the links to those right up above, but I thought I'd just take a little bit of time and show you the stamps and then also show you the cards that I did for the blog as well so you can get a closer look at those. So we're gonna start with the first of the three. This is ESN 38. And what you've got here and what really runs through all three of these stamp sets is a lot of botanicals. I love using botanicals for everyday themes, but I also really like them for the holidays because I think there's something just a little bit different um, than the traditional kind of Santa's or Christmas tree motifs that you might see for stamp sets. So I thought it would give you something a little bit um, different than normal, but also if you're doing some masking, some really simple masking, you can also put these to use for um, projects throughout the year too. I'm kind of pointing at this element here. This is all one stamp. So the Peace and Love Be With You is part of this um, botanical with the, the sheet music and the postmarks on there. If you stamp them all together, you'll get the complete motif, but you could also you know, mask that off and you would have a beautiful um, border that could go vertically or could go horizontally as well. Also on the stamp set, you've got some really fun circles and other um, sort of floral motif on there. This is actually a tile pattern from my hallway in my apartment building. So I've taken some of those and then just overlap them onto some circles and some sheet music. You've got another smaller motif down here. You've got some sentiments and then you've got a really useful uh, script stamp on here which can be used as background or it can be used to overlap any of your other elements. Now if you're not familiar with Paper Artsy, um, they are a UK based business and they create really gorgeous, very high quality red rubber stamps. So you can see the level of detail on here. These are all made in the UK. Um, the red rubber is mounted onto an easy mount. So you can use this on an acrylic block. I use it with my Misty all the time. And then when you're done with them, they just go back on the laminated sheet. So you've got kind of a built-in storage uh, piece on this as well. Excellent quality. And I always love working with the folks at P Paper Artsy. So that was the first. Here's the second, ESN 39. So again, you've got some nice big leaf images on here. Again, you've got a, a focal element with the sentiment on here. Again, mask it off if you want to use this for um, year-round cards or other projects. You've got another border down here, same thing, tis the season. But the rest of the motif is not necessarily Christmas. So again, to give you a little bit more longevity, I'd like you to, to be able to make the most out of your stamp sets. And then you've also got this large one here too. You've got some postmarks on there, some little leaf images and um, some old uh, ephemera, an old bill actually that I, I got at a flea market in Paris. So you'll see that coming up in an, in an upcoming stamp set as well. Another sentiment and then the stars here, which um, were kind of an afterthought, I have to say, when I was designing the set. And then I found that I really use them a lot overlapping other elements. And I have an, uh, an example of that to show you too. So our third and final release is ESN 40. So again, a nice big focal. You can see it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's big, it's beautifully intricate. It is fantastic quality and makes a really, really easy focal element on your card. I've also got a smaller piece here. This works great if you're doing a landscape um, orientation on your cards. The piece be with you and the to and from, I figure those are great for all year round. And a to and a from just really comes in handy, especially with gift tags and things like that. You have a little 25 and then a really small little collage bit on here as well. So these can be used as accents too, or on tags or on smaller cards. So I'm gonna show you the card projects that I did for the blog. And again, I've got the link to that just right up above and you can see 
a little bit more about how I put those together. So this is the first one, and this is, of course, using that large Peace and Love Be With You. I've done this with um, black ink and then stamped, uh, so I stamped it with black ink and then I added clear embossing powder on top of it. So it looks like black embossing powder, but it's actually black ink underneath there. And I just simply brayered a piece of white cardstock a little bit with some paint, and I'm gonna show you the paints that I'm working with, which are my new favorites. The background on here is just a master board that I made with all kinds of um, stamped elements on there and then just trimmed that down and a little bit of Baker's Twine. So this is what I mean by being able to create something quite quickly and easily that has a really large and eye-catching uh, focal element. So that's the first one. The paints that I'm using, by the way, are two new ones, also from Paper Artsy. Uh, the elves at Paper Artsy sent me a bunch of new fresco finished chalk acrylics. So I have aquamarine and lawn, which I love. And the two of these, plus the gold, as you can tell, my gold is well loved. These three together make a fantastic um, color combination for Christmas, or really for lots of different themes. So I've also used that lawn to stamp this image here. And when after I stamped it with paint, I added some clear embossing powder on here too. That's just gonna give it a little bit more shine. Um, I left it all on my Misty and then cleaned it off and then stamped Tis the Season uh, in black ink, just so that you can get the same positioning but with different mediums if you want to. I've got some brayered, uh, like a brayered scrap of white cardstock. I think I actually just was like rolling off the extra paint on my brayer and kind of like that. Um, the stenciling on here is done with gold paint and it's using uh, not a new stencil, but an older one, also from Paper Artsy. And for that, I've put the paint onto the stencil and then misted it with water and then pressed that black cardstock on top. So you actually get the reverse of the design. So it's like a reverse stenciled effect. And I know I've got some videos on my YouTube channel that show you exactly how to do that, but that's gonna give you uh, a really cool effect like this. And I have to say on the black cardstock, uh, it was kind of like just there and I happened to grab it but normally I go with white cardstock, but I really quite like it with the black on there. I wouldn't normally think black with uh, Christmas cards, but I think it works. The third card that I want to show you is this one that has that great big warm winter wishes. Again, I just brayered the lawn and the aquamarine onto some smoothie cardstock, just plain white, stamped and embossed that, uh, stamped it in black, embossed it with clear, and that provides a resist so that when I add some watery gold, as you can see, to fill in the postmark and then also to sort of highlight those words, the um, embossing will create a resist. So then it allows the, the words to still show through, but then I've also got that really cool gold metallic on there. Here's the 25, it's been die cut into a circle and I like to be able to combine the shapes to give a little bit more um, visual balance on a card. You'll probably notice I've got some gold paint spattered onto the bottom piece here. And again, just to create some balance for this design. Again, a little bit of Baker's Twine and some gold embroidery thread on there. The next card I want to show you is a little bit of a mishmash. So we've got that big 25 on there. Again, some black, um, or black ink and then clear embossing powder on top and a simple brayered background. All of the strips that you see back here are off cuts of a bigger master board that I made. And when I say master board, I mean just a really large sheet, um, can even be an A4 or an eight and a half by 11 size sheet of paper where I brayer it, I just stamp it with a bunch of different um, designs from any of the three stamp sets. Uh, do some stenciling on some of them with some grunge paste, do some spattering, and then let it dry and then cut it apart. And you're able to get some really cool effects when you simply align them in layers. So let me kind of tilt this and you can see they're just strips sort of nested up one um, next to the other. I've got some stenciling on here. Now this is grunge paste stenciled onto white cardstock for just a little bit of visual balance in between all of those darker colors. And then the last card that I want to show you, you'll probably uh, 
see this as a familiar site. I've got this one up as my um, my at the top of my Facebook page. You probably see that. So this is that beautiful postmark border. I've got the stamp, the star stamped on top of it. And then I've added this element here, again, die cut with an oval shape this time, and then just backed a little bit of foam tape on there. And it's overlapping a portion of the stamp, but I think it still adds a really nice um, layered detail on there. More strips of cardstock, black, both black and white. I've also got some stenciling here, and I wanted to show you that stencil. Again, another older one. And the little blobs that I've got are, have been stenciled with grunge paste. And then I've got the circles that I also stenciled with grunge paste too. So grunge paste is the texture medium from Paper Artsy. It's a neutral color. You can see, you can say I'm almost done with this jar. You can see the color of it. It's not bright white, but it's kind of a, a bone color, I suppose. And when you put it onto black cardstock, it just looks really, really cool. And I've got some brayering and some spattering going on, again, using the lawn and the aqua marine, and then a little bit of that gold as well. So these are the three new Christmas stamp sets from Paper Artsy. Again, I've got the links to the blog post just right up above um, for myself, and then also from the fabulous Nikki, who did some really gorgeous designs using a completely different color palette. So do be sure to check out both of those. If you are wondering where you can find Paper Artsy stamps, scroll all the way down to the bottom of either one of those blog posts and you'll see a complete listing of all the international um, Paper Artsy retailers. Um, these stamps are only available from those retailers, so I hope you get a chance to find one in your area or one online and uh, connect with them to find out more. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope some of the project ideas have inspired you. Do be sure to pop over to the blog to find out even more. So thanks again. I hope you have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend, and I will see you again later.